working hard. Yeah, I have been. Just need to pop into town and drop these contracts off. Be quick in the lotus, though. Where's Nicola? Ah, nursery cord. Oh, great. Nah, she won't be long. She just needs to take a change of clothes in. Listen, when she gets back, tell her to arrange a meeting with Ian Bedford. OK, when for? As soon as possible. All right, Land Rover it is, then. Ian seems to have forgotten he's an estate agent, thinks he's a tour guide. I'm sure he's doing his best. Have you got a sec? Not now. Listen, find out who the local farm auctioneers are. If he can't sell it, someone else will have to. I'll be about an hour. Thought you had the day off. Yeah, I need to speak to Diane about next week's rota. Not that it's any of your business. Well, I think you'll find it is if you won't feed in tonight. All right, well, I might have to put a few extra hours in then. Hey, don't knock my spag ball. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, it must take you ages to get that jar lid off. I'm only messing. I know. Do you want me to take it inside for you? Hey, people will talk. Only because they're jealous. Oh, <laughs> hey, looks like you're going to have to keep an eye on this one, love. <laughs> oh, no, it's nothing to do with me. You're welcome to him. Oh, well, in that case, <laughs> a word of advice, love. A bit of old-fashioned courtship. That's what you need. <laughs> All right. You I can manage from here, thanks. Do you want me to help you with your bags? Do I look like an old biddy? I heard that! Well, hello, the teenagers. You what? They aren't doing no wrong. Yeah, I never said they were. I'll see you tonight. Don't fancy collecting some glasses for me, do you? No. Right, thanks. Still pretty busy in there. Right, OK, won't be long. I've had to drag Marlon out of the kitchen. I said I'd be there, Bob. Kind of in the middle of something. All right. Just thought you should know. <clears throat> oh, go on, you better get back. Look up. It's probably only three people standing at the bar. So what's he said about her? Oh, the usual. It meant nothing. It was a one-off. Maybe it was. Maybe my dad was right. I doubt it. Once a cheat. You don't put somebody on the divorce papers for a one night some, do you? Unless she's trying to be clever. How do you mean? Well, she puts you down, things go nice and smoothly for him, don't they? You'd be cracking open the champagne. Mm, over his head. <sighs> it's a woman scorned and all that. I should know. Maybe it's her way of making life difficult. Well, it's working. Oh, I don't know. I know what you're saying, but I've got Sarah to think about, Anna. I? I need to be sure about him. Uh, shouldn't you be halfway to Rotherham by now? There's stuff to do. Like what? Nothing. Oh, well, I'll tell the clients that when they phone up to complain, shall I? I'm doing you a favour here. Try turning that round. You wanted the extra work. I can always find someone else. Just blame it on the traffic if he's late. I shouldn't have to. And it's got nothing to do with you. I'm just saying you don't need to make it into a drama. So have you got the job shit or what? If it's not too much trouble for you. No? Throw out a discount because you're late. It's coming out of your money. I thought we could go out to dinner tonight. I'm sorry, I'm really not in the mood. Which is exactly why we should. It'll do you good to relax. Let me get this business with the farm sorted first. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. Any news? Auction's not to the end of June. Well, what use is that? The world doesn't revolve around your demands. <coughs> Did Nicola get hold of Ian? Yeah, he's not coming until Tuesday. Does he know it's urgent? You could always try looking at other options. The options are, I sell the farm or I lose out. Why not buy in? I'm trying to raise money, not chuck it away. It looks like a good opportunity to me. You get a percentage of the business, a quick sale, and hey presto, your precious hotel deal's back on track. She's got a point. I prefer to keep things simple. You're too stubborn, you mean? Can you imagine me and Barton working together? You don't have to muck the cows out, just take home a share of the profits. Yeah. Assuming there are any. He's good at what he does. 
It seems stupid to write it off because you've had a couple of run-ins with a guy. Still, it's up to you. Cheer up, kid. You get another trip to Georgia out of it, don't you? Oh, well, that's all right, then. Well, you seemed to enjoy it last time. Enough to bring a souvenir back, anyway. Will you just stop going on about it? I thought you wanted him to get a divorce. I do. Put that back. Is he messing you around? No. Something's not right, is it? You do know they're coming to fill it up in half an hour, don't you? Uh, where are you going? To make a brew. Agamemnon and Clyton... <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Uh, have you got any tickets left for tonight? Why, is it not very popular? There's no way he's <laughs> taking chance to that. We should not like it. <laughs> this is going to be good. Yeah, if you like car crashes... Oi, Nick! Don't you dare! Oh, OK, great. Oh, we can't let him go through with it. Too late, already has. <laughs> oh, dear. Sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. All oh, right, so this isn't for your entertainment. Well, it's just a night out. Can't be that bad, can it? Are you kidding? Oh, why don't we go? Oh, come on, please. I want to see that look on her face. You know, there is something not right with you. I'll see you later, Jen. See you, Jen. I can't believe no one else has phoned back. And there's still time. Yeah, not much. Would it kill someone to believe in us? Then we should try ringing around again. Starts to look a bit desperate, doesn't it? Yeah, but we are, aren't we? I'll get it. Are you staying for your tea, Andy? Uh, no, thanks. Alicia says she'll come round. Oh. I'll leave you to it. Hi. Hi. Uh, can I get you a cup of tea? I'm fine, thanks. Do you mind if I sit down? No, no, help yourself. I'm sorry to call unannounced. But, uh, I think we need to speak about the farm. Well, I've still got a few days left. So if you've come to tell me that you found a buyer, I don't want to know. He's going to be disappointed. Does he know we've got a lease? I don't think that'll matter to him. Look, let's not play games. I've spoken to Jay. Has he changed his mind? No, no, he hasn't. But I have. You all right? Fine. Program starting. I spoke to Aaron. When? Earlier. I didn't want to worry you. Why? What she said? <gasps> Nothing. Not really. I just wish. I just wish we could make it a bit easier for him. I do. For the both of you. Look, I've, I've been doing some research. He just needs time to get used to it. Yeah. Hi, Sarah. What's that? Uh, you want a cup of tea? Never thought you'd ask. Dad, can you um, give us a minute, please? I should have told you. I, I just thought. What's the point when I can get away with it? No, it meant nothing, okay? And I didn't want to lose you. Why didn't Anna put me on the papers? How, how should I know? Well, I'm the one you left her for, aren't I? Right, okay. Listen, why don't you give her a call and ask her? I haven't got a clue what goes on inside that woman's head. You swore you'd never mess me around. I haven't. Debbie. I told you what happened. I can't force you to believe me. Fine. I'll go and pack my things in, shall I? This isn't just about me. Oh. Don't hide behind Sarah, OK? I gave up my kids to be with you, but that obviously means nothing. I love you. OK? I, I don't know... Can they have a drink, Mummy? Yeah, of course you can. I'll bring one up. I can't do this. Not while she's around. 
Right, OK, well, then let's go to the pub later, yeah? Y your dad will babysit, right? Uh, not without asking a million questions. Well, Andy, then, because we need to talk about this. I, I want to talk about this. So you're going to reduce the asking price? I'm assuming you can get a mortgage for that. Only just. But you can? Yes. Yes, we've got the paperwork from the bank. It's OK. I believe you. And you take 20% of any profit the business makes in return? Or the minimum monthly payment. Whichever is greater. How's that fair? Well, it means you can afford to buy the farm. And 80% of the profit is better than none. got to be worth considering. Well, if we make a loss, we'll go under in no time. Well, you better make sure that you don't. <clears throat> um, can you give us a few minutes, please? Sure. Take your time. else has shown much interest. So we do all the hard graft and East One's off with the takings, whether we make any or not. I think it could work. We'd be stuffed if it didn't. Well, that would be the same wherever we get the money from. I mean, the bank wouldn't let us off with the loan repayments if we made a loss. Maybe they won't want 20% of the profits either. Go and talk to him then, try and sort it. He's loving this, isn't he? He's taking the make with that offer. Well, what choice have we got? This is our future. I mean, if he sells this place to someone else, we're just going to be treading water, wondering when they want to get rid of us. We'd have rights. So you would rather spend the next three years paying rent and end up having nothing to show for it? Of course not. Well then, this could be our only chance. <laughs> we can't do it on those terms. It's a lot more than we offered Jay. Fair enough. I'll see you in a few days. Come on, mate. This could be a really good business. Only if you can raise the money. I thought you'd be grateful. For what? Giving you a shed load of cash every month? Maybe if the percentage was a bit lower. How much lower? Closer to ten. <laughs> you know what? Christmas has been and gone. Fifteen. That's way too much. Fifteen. I can live with 15. Take it or leave it. I need an answer by the morning. Good night. <laughs> I feel it. I feel like I've got the devil in me. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Take it you made it to Rotherham all right then? Yeah, not a problem. I told them the motorway was hell. See, I do have my uses. Mm. Listen, I know I was a bit off earlier. That's one way of putting it. Won't happen again. And I'm still up for any extra runs if you're gone. Good job you got such an understanding boss then. Cool. I think we should have these. Oh, yeah, thank very you. Get it. Get it. Nice to see he's making new friends. She works in the same office. Touched a nerve. Come on, you. Let's go and find a DVD. Actually, I've changed my mind. I think we're just going to have a night in. Suit yourself. I will. Why did you have to say that to her? She's good with her. So? I'm tired. Go on, sweetheart. Well, I do. You look fine. Don't go overboard, are you? Where are we going, anyway? I told you. It's a surprise. Don't really do surprises. Give me a sec. With, uh, we've got to be there for seven. I don't suppose you fancy going on a mystery date with Nikhil, do you? What? No, neither do I, if I'm honest with you. You gonna tell me what's going on? Nothing. If she's giving you grief, just... Then just leave it, will you? I'm 
Aaron? It's nothing. I just want to help. Needed a bit of fresh air. Been a long day. Yeah. I thought you might have been avoiding me. No phone social services. Right. Well, you did what you thought you had to do. I couldn't go through with it. Didn't tell her. This feels like I'm giving up on him. That's the last thing you're doing. Look, why don't you come in? Have a bit of tea with us, eh? No. Soon then, yeah? Yeah. Jenny, do you know what's going on with the cafe? Only he's been very secretive. Uh, no idea, no, sorry. Well, is it going to take much longer, then? Only Alan says the builders are finished. Decorators should be starting next week. All right. Yeah, well, I hope we're not going to get one of them over-the-top coffee shops like we've got in town. Have to wait and see. Mm, pointless sayings all over the wall. We'll do our best for you. I bet. You do know that you can talk to me. Uh, yeah, chisels, please, Bob. And one for Jenny as well. So then. Well done with John Martin. I've had to drop 5%. Ooh. You're still smiling, aren't you? It might be. <laughs> Cheers, Bob. Yeah, generous to a fault. Listen, I'm just letting him live the dream. Mm. Cheers. You're getting as bad as Declan. Isn't he back yet? No, not yet. I thought I'd stay clear. Has he taken mini-me with him? She's gone into town. I'm guessing all this is down to you. Well, that depends. If it's a success, Declan will claim it was his idea all along. Why let him? It's easier. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Right, well, thank you for whatever you said to him. I'd wait till it's all signed. You might still come back telling me to keep out of things I don't understand. Oh, come on, Ella, why are you always putting yourself down? Because it saves him doing it. Oh, it might be ages yet. Let's go through for a drink. I can't. I've got to finish this. No arguments. I think the least you owe me is a bit of company. Come on. I'm so sorry. I should have texted Carl at a last minute job. I didn't want to let him down. So, are we going out? Not tonight. But we need to talk, don't we? Sorry, watch this here. Better go and check on Sarah. Hey, hey, you okay? I just want a night in, all right? Don't think you're her favourite person at the moment. Long may it last. Keep your hands off those beers, the man. Place it, don't worry. <sighs> Call it a leaving present, eh? You'd love that, wouldn't you? None of my business, as Debbie keeps pointing out. Yeah, why don't you listen to her for a change? You what? Why is this the bit where you threaten to break my legs? You're not worth it. I never know a loser when she sees one. Oh, I said nothing. Oh, good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are. How'd it go? Oh, God, right, get me a drink in. I have never laughed so much in my whole life. You mean you actually enjoyed it? No, no, it was awful. I nearly wet myself. <laughs> what a review. You should let me use that on the posters. Yeah, I think I might have embarrassed Nicole just ever so slightly. I don't worry, that's easily done. No, I couldn't help myself. They obviously thought it'd be more artistic to do the whole thing in the buff. <laughs> <laughs> what was the girl supposed to do? I had to wolf whistle, didn't I? Oh, Charles, I bet that went down so well. Yeah, they started forgetting their lines, which was a blessing, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... Saying it went to plan, but I reckon I still owe you a drink. No, 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 you're fine, thanks. 
Sounds like you had a successful night. We got chucked out after half an hour. Yeah, doesn't seem like that matters though, does it? <laughs> He's right, you know, you get him laughing, you're halfway there. <laughs> I'll get these. Cheers. Um, Declan was looking for you earlier on. Yeah, he found me. In fact, you've only just missed him. Yeah. Oh. Where's my drink? There you go. Oh, it was geez. the one guy there. <laughs> wow, you're gonna be on the floor at this rate. After a glass and a half of wine. What can I say? I'm a lightweight. I wouldn't say that. Go on. One more, then you can desert me like everyone else. Oh, stop it. You're gonna be crying into my drink in a minute. I suppose I should be used to it. I spend hours rattling around this place on my own. You know what? You need a dog. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Good to see you and Edna going out for walks together. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're supposed to be cheering me up. Why are you laughing, aren't you? <laughs> You won't be in a minute. Oh, thought you'd be long gone by now. Decided to wait for you. Oh, so sweet. I took pity on him, dragged him through for a drink. So how'd it go? All right. Maybe with a little more gentle persuasion? Yeah, sure, I'll try and talk him around. Great. Well, let me know how that goes. Aren't you going to stay for another? No, your dad's right. I need to get back. See you tomorrow. This Friday, I'm...